Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. Today is September 12th, 2019. This is a general love reading for the sign of Virgo. It can pertain to any kind of relationship situation or circumstance you might be dealing with. Be flexible with the energy, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, also, happy birthday. We are still in the month of birthday month of Virgo, so I hope everything is going well for you. We are going to get started right away, Virgo. I have pre-shuffled all my decks. So let's see what's up for you. In your underlying energy, you have the moon paired with justice and reverse. Interesting. Star. Sun in reverse. Chariot. The Empress, wow, five out of five major arcana right now. The Six of Wands in reverse. Queen of Cups. And the Eight of Cups. Okay, Virgo, let me start shuffling my next deck and we'll see what's up with you. So in your underlying energy, you have the moon and justice in reverse. So there are some secrets or some unknown information that's resulted in um, injustice for you. I do feel, Virgo, that you are the Empress and Queen of Cups energy. Both of those energies are yours so far on the table. Um, you're unclear about something, about moving forward with something or moving towards somebody or making any moves at all regarding a situation because I feel like you're unclear about something. Probably having something to do with these, these secrets. And um, at this point in time, I got something in my eyeball. At this point in time, um, you may be feeling... A sense of failure or a lack of success um, and you're trying to you may be trying to decide whether or not to move on this may have to do with a relationship Queen of Cups it feels like you may be waiting on an opportunity for a new relationship or an opportunity with somebody that you care about um, but it feels like you're waiting on something, some unknown information, some secrets, some hidden information um, in order to make a decision. You might be possibly walking away from this situation. Let's see what else we get for you. Clarifying the moon, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. And Justice in reverse is clarified by the Ace of Cups. Interesting. Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands in reverse, Empress is clarified by the Six of Cups in reverse, Six of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Pot, um, Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. And the Eight of Cups is clarified by the Page of Pentacles. So, Virgo. These secrets or this unknown information is keeping you from your Ten of Cups. I don't think you're unhappy right now. I think you're feeling pretty content. I think you're feeling pretty secure with yourself. But there is something, something you don't know or something you know. I still have something in my eye bugging the crap out of me um there's something that's keeping you from ultimate happiness um it could possibly be a relationship or love situation i do not see anybody else's energy on the table right now but there's injustice in love because of this unknown information or secrets there's some kind of injustice in a possibly again a new new Love relationship, or this could also indicate self-love. Something that you don't know is keeping you from feeling good about yourself and or a possible new beginning with somebody. 
you'd like to take action, even though you're unclear about what's going on or unsure about um, where you're headed. Um, I do believe you want to take action to move away from something you feel is possibly a missed opportunity or an opportunity that just didn't come to fruition. You want to move past that. You may have been waiting for something to happen and it's just not happening. There is someone significant. I don't have, well, I have a queen of swords, but I don't believe this is somebody else's energy. I think it's yours. Um, there's someone significant in this equation that is currently, um, you're not, communicating with or you're not in contact with or there's some bad blood between you or some harsh memories or um, something just went awry with this relationship again this is you so there is some connection here it's a past connection um, I don't again I don't have anybody else's energy on the table here so I can't tell you who this is but there is something about a past relationship that you have on your mind right now that's showing up in this reading. And it's um, some kind of failed attempt or a failure for a new beginning. This can also just be an opportunity, um, a new job, a new um, financial opportunity, opportunity that hasn't come to, like I said, it hasn't come to be or, or it's failed. Your energy is clarified by the Queen of Swords. So I just feel, Virgo, that this is this is you. In a nutshell, you are a very compassionate, loving um, person, possibly in wait mode for whatever reason. But you're also all about truth, cutting out the crap. You are very straightforward. You are authentic. You are who you say you are. You are real. Your energy is, is pretty clear. You are in a solid position in your life right now, feeling good about where you are, who you are, and how you um, present yourself. I mean, with the Empress on the table as well, all of this is your energy. You're, you're in a very good position right now in your life. For yourself is what I mean. So when I, when I look at this Ace of Cups and your underlying energy, I don't feel like this injustice has anything to do necessarily with your own self-love because I do feel like you are in a solid, um, solid feeling grounded and feeling good about what's going on with you and in your life. Um, there's something about gaining some kind of knowledge or information about moving on or moving away from something. So I feel like you might be in wait mode, waiting for some information so that you can move on. Something about moving away of the chariot and the eight of cups, moving away from a situation or a missed opportunity, and, but waiting for information or to gain some clarity, sun card in reverse, before taking action to move on. That's what I have so far. Let's see what else we get for you, Virgo. I do feel like there's some potential on the table here. Um, for whatever reason, there's some unknown information, some secrets that you don't have control over that um, is, I feel is what you're waiting on. You're waiting to gain some clarity. So clarifying the moon, we have the tower in reverse. This is something that's out of your control. These secrets, this information is out of your control. And the Queen of Cups, there you are again, clarifying justice in reverse. So whatever this information is that you don't have control over has resulted in some kind of injustice for you, again, pertaining to, I feel, new love or something, something new for you that will be near and dear to your heart, whether it's a person or an opportunity. There's some injustice surrounding that because of secrets or unknown information. You've been hesitant to make... There's the Empress again, clarifying the Empress. <laughs> Virgo, you're looking good. I don't know what else to say about this, but you've got the Empress, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups. I would not be surprised if the Queen of Pentacles came out to clarify your energy also. There is something really s s 
solid about you, something really, I mean, you, whatever, whatever's going on in your life, um, there's good things happening regardless of maybe some other stuff that you don't feel is so good in your life. The Fool clarifying your energy and justice again. Oh, interesting. Okay. Let me take a look at these cards with you, Virgo. So here you are again, and the Fool came out to, to clarify your energy. So you've got a new uh, beginning on the horizon regardless of what is going on on the sidelines. I do feel like there's something going on, some information, again, something that you're waiting on that you don't know about, but regardless of what happens with that situation or those circumstances or those people, whatever that is for you, you have a new beginning on the horizon. Some exciting stuff is happening for you, Virgo. And you may find out that it is indeed time for you to move on because justice came out. And by the way, just as I said justice, literally the word justice, it's 11, it was 11-11 11, 11 on the video time. Um, something about moving on or moving past this is what is right. Um, when you gain clarity or you may, you may gain clarity and just make a decision that you have enough information and that you're moving on because that's the right thing to do. So again, this could be an opportunity. Ace of Pentacles. This is the thing that's confusing for me though. Ace of Pentacles um, with the Six of Wands. This might be the thing that you're waiting on, a new opportunity that you feel has been taken from you or was a failure. You've been battling this. You feel like you're ready to give up that you don't want to worry about this anymore or wait for it anymore. And it may have something to do with a um, past relationship, like I said, with the Six of Cups on the table here. The Two of Wands in reverse, clarifying the Chariot, you're hesitant to move on. You're a little bit concerned that if you move on that you're going to be instrumental and in actually missing out on this opportunity that that it will slip out of your hands if you move forward with whatever else you've got going on in your life so you are hesitant to move forward without having all of the information um, but but part of you may be coming to terms with with four of cups here clarifying the sun in reverse you may be coming to terms with not having all of the information and being okay with that and taking action anyway is what I'm getting so far from these cards. Let's get some more clarification for you. One more shuffle. For Virgo. Okay, so clarifying Ten of Cups, you have the star in reverse. There may be a lack of hope regarding the situation surrounding this, these secrets or unknown information. And Four of Pentacles, clarifying the Ace of Cups, wanting to let go of this, being willing to let go. Four of Swords again. Oh, that's the first time that's come out. World. Okay, that's some interesting information here. So, the star card came out clarifying the Ten of Cups in reverse. So this is surrounding these secrets, these unknowns. Um, you may be losing hope on whatever this was or is that you thought might bring you your Ten of Cups because the, this information, whatever it is that you need to know in order to move forward just hasn't happened. And again, it's out of your control. So I do feel like there's a sense of um, losing hope or letting this dream go. I do feel it's also been um, something that has happened over a consistent amount of time. 
um, ultimately you feel or you feel it's been injustice for you or it actually has been injustice some kind of missed opportunity perhaps in a new relationship and perhaps in love but with the four of pentacles I do feel like you're willing to let this go and walk away from this or you feel like you may need to that this isn't necessarily something that's meant for you maybe you have to be willing to say okay you know what I've spent enough time and energy on this I'm not sure how much more I can do I, I'm doing the best for myself right now things are good in my life and I may just have to let this go is what I'm feeling um, you are deep in thought of what actions to take how to move forward what to do next but something has to happen first and that is to close out this potential missed opportunity again I feel like that is heavily on your mind um, and not necessarily wanting to make a decision feeling hesitant about moving forward um, but this this cycle this this piece here has to close out before you can move forward or before you can feel comfortable moving forward or before you want to there's a hesitancy there's a lack okay so there is something that's surrounding this this person or past relationship past situation it you know six of cups is about a relationship it is about a person in your life from the past that may be the one who needs to reveal the secrets you know the high priestess in reverse this person may be the one who's responsible for giving you the information you need in order to move forward but there's some bad blood or there's some some kind of harshness that happened in your past with this person that's preventing this from happening and ultimately preventing you from moving forward it, you know, and I don't say that in a negative sense because you are moving forward regardless. You are doing really well in your life, feeling good. Um, you're, there's just a lack of clarity, again, sun in reverse, lack of clarity about this new beginning, this new opportunity that I feel like you have, feel like you've missed out on or you've been battling for it or hoping for it, but it's it's failed. It's not It's not transpiring. It's not coming to fruition it's not it's not happening for you right now okay so you have the ten of pentacles clarifying the queen of swords the people surrounding you especially your close family and friends know who you are and what you stand for and the type of person that you are they also know that no matter what that Virgo has a new beginning on the horizon that is full of all of your hopes and dreams that you could possibly hope for and you're going to take charge of this and those those around you who love you and care about you and know who you are know that you're going to be okay regardless that you take charge of your life that things are going to be a ten of cups for you regardless of what else is left behind if you do leave this behind um, I do feel like you are alone in figuring out this information because you're not you are not receiving um, what you feel is the information you need in order to make a clear decision about moving forward from this injustice but the fact that you have been left out of the equation, have you been, you've been left out of gaining this information, has you feeling even stronger about taking charge and moving on, moving past this injustice because it just doesn't belong in your life, Virgo. It's not, it's not productive, it's not helping you move forward, it's not making you feel good. And you know, what you don't know can't hurt you, I guess, right? I do feel like there's a lot of unknowns here. There's some big secrets, um, information that you're not aware of regarding, again, a possible new opportunity, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, or a possible new uh, relationship that you're just un unaware of. There is nobody else's energy in your reading at all, Virgo. This is all you. So I do feel like you are standing strong on your own right now. 
Um, a little surprise we don't have the Nine of Pentacles on the table. We might get it with this, these cards. But you are doing, I mean, it, this is a very positive reading, regardless of whether, whatever missed opportunity you may feel that you have had um, in your past. Again, it's out of your control. So I, I think, especially since it's out of your control, it's not something that you want to dwell on or worry about. <coughs> Let's see what else we get for you, Virgo. So clarifying the moon and the tower and the ten of pentacles, you have the six of air. Six of air in reverse in this deck is about losing contact with your spirit guides or refusing to contact with, to have contact with the divine or, you know, listening to your intuition, listening to your gut. And then paired with that, you have the ten of air in reverse. This card is about dealing, dealing been, having been dealt a shitty hand and you have to play it anyway. You're sitting at a poker table and you get, you know, you get two, you get two pair, threes and sixes, let's say. And you know it's a shitty hand, but you're going to play it anyway because you you're a master poker player. Um, but this is also about, you know, sometimes there are things you're not meant to know, but if you, if you stay connected with your spirit guides, they're going to help you through anything, even when you are dealt a shitty hand. If you stay connected and you trust your, your gut and you trust your instinct and you trust yourself, um, you can get through anything. And you can, you can play that, that two pair masterfully if you trust your guides. I do feel too, Virgo, I'm not just saying this to an average everyday person. Whoever I'm talking to on this video is connected to the divine because you do have a sense of spiritual um, spirituality about you with the cards that are representing you, the Empress, the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, clear mind, clear thoughts, Maiden of Fire, Ten of Earth, Ostara, with it in reverse, Mother of Water, there's the Queen of Cups again, and the five of fire. So the maiden of fire is about inspiration and this is about having a connection to the divine and listening to, just paying attention to where, where your path is leading you because that is always going to steer you in the right direction. And this is clarifying this set of cards with the sun in reverse with the chariot. Right now you're a little bit cloudy. Um, unsure about which direction to go but again if you pay attention to where you're being guided and what your life path is excuse me I'm burping if you pay attention to your gut your intuition your spirit guides you will be led in the right direction every single time you've been working hard and there's balance in that you've been whatever you've been doing in your life has created balance for you You've been working hard. This sun card in reverse, this one in, in this deck in particular, means you've been burning the candle at both ends. You've been working hard. You've been, you know, doing your best to, to do what's right for you and for others. And even with some of the, the failures that you had in your life or so, some of the things you feel you failed in, um, you are still working hard to maintain balance and to go in the right direction. So again, a couple of really positive cards because you are working hard to maintain balance and mother of water with five of fire this again queen of cups you are an emotional person you are empathetic you wear your emotions on your sleeves sleep most likely you you know you you are who you are you're authentic and things affect you on an on emotional level so when certain things happen in your life that are not necessarily where you thought they would go would go were not super positive sometimes you blow things out of proportion sometimes you make a big deal out of nothing and bring yourself down and this is clarifying the eight of cups you need to move away from that because you're standing strong regardless of what like i said what's happening on the sidelines it does affect you sometimes emo on at the emotional level but um 
this is spirit telling you sometimes you really are blowing things out of proportion because you have nothing but good ahead of you. You are walking on a diamond path. You are following the yellow brick road to Oz. You are making strides to, to in positive ways in your life. So I'm going to leave that there, Virgo. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say about this reading except it looks like there is a sense of some disappointment, something that you've been waiting for that may not transpire for you. I wouldn't worry about it. I think that you'll gain enough information to be able to make a decision for yourself. Whatever happens, I hope the best for you, Virgo. Again, happy birthday. I hope your month is going well, and I hope you join me again next time. Take care. Bye, Virgo.